Hey guys, Ben here, just giving you the forecast for the weekend. And um, we've been very lucky at the moment. It looks like these big storms just seem to keep rolling in on a weekend. Um, so it's not looking very good again for Saturday, Sunday. Saturday is 25 foot swell, unbelievable to even say it, and about 19 second period. So another huge, huge swell coming. Um, but it's got um, a very strong onshore wind too. It's 35 to 40 mile an hour with gusts a lot stronger on Saturday. So pretty much Saturday's out, to be honest. It's going to be blown out. It's going to be massive. There's going to be too much water moving around. Um, luckily, from a damage perspective, it's a low high tide. It's only a 3.8 meter high tide. So we hope it's not going to do too much damage compared to the week before. Sunday is a little bit better. It's down to 16 foot and 18 seconds with a 25 mile an hour onshore wind. Again, a lot of water moving around, a lot of swell. Um, it's going to be rippy, currenty, onshore, walls of white water. Possibly just about doable, but um, I would ring Sunday morning to check. The tide is high at lunchtime, but it's only a small tide. However, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. With all the sand gone off the beach in the last couple of weeks, the tide is racing in much quicker. So normally on a 3.8 meter, you'd actually have a little bit of beach at the far end of the farm, away from the village. Um, but because of the way the, the, the sand has disappeared, the tide is rushing in and filling up that space much, much quicker. Basically, the sand level is about two foot lower than it normally is. So it's filling in really fast. It also means that on a normal tide, you'd normally give yourself two hours out of sight high tide. You need to change that calculation now. It's at least two and a half hours out of sight of high tide before you can get in the water. There's an awful lot of changes on the beach. So if you're not getting down regularly, please give us a ring or talk to someone very experienced who knows what's happening, who's actually seen the beach that week. There's an awful lot of rocks down way past the lifeguard hut. So you can't surf the village side of the lifeguard hut unless you're experienced because there's a lot of rocks on their feet and it's very uncomfortable. So make sure you're further down the beach. And there are some big, strong currents just outside our loonies. It was always there, but it's a lot stronger now. So please don't take the beach as it normally is. Ask somebody or sit and have a look at it, particularly on the low tide. That'll help you loads because you can spot where all the rocks are and where all the holes are. Hopefully, as the summer comes around, the beach will start to fit, the sand will start to come back, and all these issues will disappear. But uh, that's where it's at at the moment. Looks like too windy, too stormy, really, for the weekend. Sunday, if you're really, really pushed, but I'd probably save your fuel and wait for another one. Sit and watch the Six Nations. Hopefully, Ireland can do a job over Wales. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Have a good one.